and their final instructions from Kira McCann before the fight commences. Ricky Leach is fine out of planet. He's got a record of six fights, five losses, one draw. But like I said before, he's never had it easy. Um, he's had one knockout loss on his record, which come at the hands of uh, Gamal Yafai, which he's obviously known me in feet. With Yafai being a great fighter. Starting off very well. I'd like to see Richie sitting on the end of his jab a bit better. That's a bit better. Poking his jab out, moving around. It's good movement for Ricky. Bulls has really come out and put the pressure on. And you can see the experience he's showing through at the moment. But once Ricky starts relaxing into it, you should see the skills of Ricky Leach coming through. At the moment, I see Ricky getting drawn into the sort of fight that I want. Balsis would probably want, but a lovely body shot there by Ricky Leach. The referee indicating that he's come around the back. That's a bit better. Ricky Leach picking his shots a bit better now. Pulls his opt-in to hold inside. It looks like Leech has now got a measure of what he's trying to do. Good movement from Pulsis there. It's a scrappy round, but I'd say the cleaner work's coming from Leech, so on my card at the moment you see Leech just edging in front. A slight look on the face of Paul's head indicates to me he's, he's feeling the pace of this one. He has started off at a very electric pace. Good body shots coming in there from Ricky. Lovely shot there from Ricky Leach. Great shot to the body, and you can see on the face of Paul's that, that really affected him. That's something that could really work over the long term of this fight. Yeah, you can see Ricky Leach really looking for that body now making a great job of it. Just got Paul walking in there without throwing any shots. Something you don't want to do against these, this kind of guy. Ricky's starting to load up on his shots now. You can obviously see that he's troubling bosses. Still taking his time, making the measure of his opponent. But Leach is doing a great job of what he's doing so far. Excellent round from Leach. Started off quite slow, quite scrappy, but in the end, I think Leach showed his class and showed his skills. The ball's just really, really fading towards the end there. And with more of those body shots, I can see this in the good night's work from Leach. Just a message here from our sponsors for all your fight and nutrition needs. Be sure to visit Camel Nutrition at camelnutrition.co.uk. The supplements that put the W in your name. Great products, great prices, great service. up early ready for the next round. I know Ricky Leach personally and I know this boy trains hard. I used to train alongside him under the tutelage of his father Neil and uh, he's trained a very good fighter in Ricky. His, his pro career has not gone as planned to start with but he's taken fights last minute hard fights on the road which isn't always the best thing to do if you're trying to build a career to more W's than there is losses but he's done a great job so far of this fight and it's good to see that when he is put under the spotlight he does actually perform
Pulse is now opting to sit on the outside, doesn't want to get involved. A great jab there through from Ricky Leach. Ricky's got a nice relaxed style, showing a lot more maturity than what his record I mean, would show. Again, Bolts is opting to hold inside. I'd like to see Ricky trying to mask the body shot a bit more. He's uh, obviously had success with it in the first round. He's starting to look for it now. Yeah, There's a good little flurry there from Baltis. Put Ricky quite flush. Ricky being penalised for holding, hitting him around the back of the head. Good left hook there from Ricky. I'd like to see Ricky jabbing his way in a little bit more. He's starting to look for that body shot a bit too much. He's making it a little bit too obvious. So Bolsis is reading that. And obviously reacting off the back of that. Big lead right there. Ricky very laboured. Not the sort of shots he wants to be throwing in this second round. He should be looking for sharper. Quick jabs. Great. Another great body shot. But again... Balls is see it coming and read it, covered up. A little flurry there from Balls but it was more out of frustration more than anything. He knows he's on the back foot, and Ricky definitely, definitely got the upper hand in this fight. Another good round from him so far. Great right hand over the top there, really troubled Balls You can see him dip at the knees. Oh, a lovely one too there from Ricky. Textbook boxing. Another great round there from Ricky Leach. And I must say the strength inside has been absolutely phenomenal. Really, really surprising to see how strong Rick, Ricky Leach is against this man who's a few years older than him and he a little bit more impressive when it comes to size but Ricky Leach is holding his own and you can see, you can see the training he's been doing in the gym is paying off. in the fight as he has done in the last two rounds. Excellent jab coming out there, trying new things as well. You can see him thinking and making his way through the fight without just throwing punches at anything. Excellent shot picking there from Ricky Leach. Been really impressive tonight. Good left hook there from Balls is caught Ricky unawares. Again Ricky just shrugs it off and comes back. successful last round. Lovely right hand to the body there. I'm really impressed with how calm and composed Ricky Leach has been tonight. Considering coming in, he's had five losses and one draw. Showing much greater skill than his record would indicate. Ricky Leach is calling a barking at him to get off the ropes, but he looks pretty comfortable there. Doesn't look in any trouble. He's got caught there on the end of the shot, but still looks in charge. And as much as most fighters don't want to be sitting on the ropes, he does look comfortable there. And 
And on the command of his father from his corner, straight one two. Ricky lands a great textbook one two, straight on the jaw of Balsies. Lovely body shot again. I would like to see him disguise that a little bit more. Stop poking out with the jab and then looking for the body shot. Again, a lovely body shot, and that had a big effect on Balsies. You can see that in his face. I think Ricky could really pick it up here. Balsies is definitely feeling the pace. Lovely jab. He's catching him cleanly now. And like I said before, I know that Ricky trains really, really hard, as do all these fighters, but this boy he does his long runs every single day. He's in the gym every single evening, and he's also a very, very good coach himself. Someone that I like to go and do work with on pads, he's very, very good on the pads. And you can see that he knows what he's doing in there. Which is obviously, he's passing on to the younger generation, which is great to see, especially someone who's still active. It's usually for the boxers that have finished their career and they want to move on to something else. Another good round from Ricky. That's three rounds in the bag for Ricky Leach for me. I can't see anyone else giving it other, any other way. The Balsas struggling in the corner there, really deep breathing. His coach pouring water down his chest, trying to cool him down a bit. Ricky Leach sitting in his corner, cool, calm, collected, relaxed. Hardly a heavy breath coming out of his body. It's absolutely amazing. Really, really impressive tonight. Good to see a fighter in the corner. Like I said, Ricky Leach is coming off the back of five losses and one draw. And you see him in the corner, oh, relaxed, composed. Oh, and comes to give a touch, guys, to the last round. And I imagine that Ricky Leach will start putting, putting the pressure on now. You can see that he's troubling Balsies with pretty much every shot he's hitting with when he's catching him clean. So it'd be nice to see Ricky come in and put a bit of pressure on and see what he can do. Hats off to Balsies. He's come out trading in this last round. Something they wouldn't expect from someone who's, I wouldn't say he's taken an absolute pasting, but he's been on the wrong end of a, of a hard fight. Oh, it's a bad cut above Ricky Leach's left eye. Definite head clash, which I imagine the referee will indicate. There's a lot of blood coming from it. I can't imagine that. Referee calling a halt to the time. And doctor being called up to the side. Here's a bad cut. It's not running into his eye, it's running down the side of his eye. Hopefully the referee will let this continue, otherwise it will end up being a, a draw. Good to see Ricky still staying composed. He's looking for the shots, but he's still staying composed. Balsies is rushing in with his shots, and he's just got caught there on the end of the chin by a lovely left hook from Ricky. There's a lot of blood coming out of the eye, but it's not running into his eyes, so it'll be interesting to see what the referee does with this. I think he'll let the fight go on. In a fight that Ricky's dominated, and this is the only real pressure he's been under, and I don't think this will be sustained, because Balsies is definitely tired. Great composure, Ricky Leach, under such pressure, with a cut above his left eye. This is excellent, excellent boxing, a great performance from Ricky Leach. Excellent, excellent right hand there from Ricky Leach, staying composed. And he's caught on the break there, he needs to keep his hands up on the way out, as they say, protect himself at all times. Good to see the re referee letting this one continue. He's just had another close look. Good 
great, great body shot there from Ricky Leach. Ricky's looking for a big right hand there. It's good to see that he's not rushing in because the last thing he needs now is to catch that eye again. And what's interesting is to see that Ricky must know that he's got this fight in the bag. He's dominated the last three rounds, apart from the first minute of the first round. It's been a completely dominating performance, yet he's still going for it. I don't know if that could be classed as, as, classed as being a little bit streaky with, with an eye cut as like it is, but he's taking it to him and that's what's been winning all fights so far. It was only a head clash that caught him. And I must say, what a performance there from Ricky Lee. One thing you can take out of that fight is that that boy is experienced beyond his years. And for a boy coming into the fight with a record of five losses and one draw, he looked miles, miles above what his record says. I'm really, really impressed. And it's great to see that a good friend of mine has put on such a great performance. And I even give him that last round, even with the pressure from the ball season all the way through. It'll be interesting to see what the scorecard says. The cut is definitely going to require stitches. It's quite a bad cut, but it's above the above the eyebrow. I don't think it's going to cause too many problems in future. Probably a couple of weeks out of the gym. No punch on that heel up. An excellent fight. The referee calls the fighters into the middle of the ring. Plays respect for what was an excellent fight, dominated for me by Ricky Leach. Oh, yeah, a lot closer than I thought it was, but the right, the right man won in the end. Excellent performance from Ricky Leach, and that's one to be proud of. I imagine the first round may have gone the other way. It was quite close for the first minute. Minute and a half, but for me, uh, the late work in the first round from Ricky Leach running, but the, the two middle rounds, round two, round three, was great, great performance from Ricky Leach. Really impressed, so it'd be good to see him out again soon once that eye's healed up.